Welcome back in. Well, we'll be watching the markets once again this morning, but as you know, the, the Dow, the New Stock Exchange, all of them just took a huge hit from the coronavirus fears and because of the prices of oil plunged. So what should be, you should be doing with your portfolio, your 401k? Should you be acting now? Is it too late to act? Marshall Clay is an expert from the Wells Group. He just joined us now to talk about some of those strategies. Good to see you this morning, Marshall. Good to see you, Mike. Um, it, it's a scary time for folks, especially uh, those who may be not too close to retirement because some of those may have been already had money in cash reserves. Right. But it's a, it's a treacherous time right now with what's going on. It is. A lot of anxiety, a yeah. lot of volatility, a lot of ups and downs. I was just checking the market before I came in here. It looks like we're actually going to have an up day uh, okay. for a change, which is, you know, which is obviously um, good. But, you know, when, when, when we have these times, it causes us, you know, to reevaluate our plan, reevaluate our strategy. I think that's what we're going to be talking about this yeah, morning. Yeah, because a lot of times what you hear is, look, just don't worry about it. If you're in here for the long term, it's eventually going to come back up and you'll make gains and you'll actually get some bargains now when the prices are lower. But you really need to understand what you own. So talk about that. Yeah, I mean, I, I tell people you've got to do your homework. You have to really understand how you're allocating and allocating your capital on the front end before we get to an event like the coronavirus or you know the financial crisis of 2008. Because if you really understand what it is that you own, that, that breeds confidence. And when we run up against some of these events like we're, we're going through right now, you know, the confidence can, can get you through these, the, these environments and cause you to not be as emotional and make really poor decisions. So if, I'm, if, I've, got a, if I've got a 401k, a portfolio, I see I'm heavily in stocks right now. I'm taking a huge hit. Yes. Um, so should I have done something before in advance of this? Yeah, I think I think the key is you want to look at what your goals are. You look at your you know near and long term goals and objectives, and allocate your money based on the risk that you need to take to meet those goals, right? And what I see a lot of times is that people are taking too much risk to meet their goals, and so their their portfolios are getting whipsawed around, and that's when the emotion creeps in and the bad decisions creep in. So, right. if you can if you can allocate your capital in a way where you're taking just enough risk to meet those goals and objectives, and no more, you'll be far better off to sort of navigate uh, environments like. So, those. what's the best way to reduce risk then? So, a lot of times, you know, just you know, moving to cash. You you, you mentioned it. I mean, cash is a, is a good place to have your money now. I mean, bond yields have been driven down to historic lows. So, we, and when you say cash, we want people to understand. We're talking about bonds, right? We're talking about CDs. We, yeah. yeah, cash, okay. bonds. Okay. Um, you know, bond yields have been driven to a pretty low level. So, I think there probably is some more risk now in okay. bonds than there maybe was, you know, just a you know, few weeks ago. So, cash is is becoming a little bit more valuable now. But also seeking some alternatives as far as paying down debt. I mean, there's no rules that say that you have to allocate your money to the stock or bond market. I see a lot of people who are pouring money in the stock market who have a bunch of credit card debt or home debt. I mean, those are going to generate guaranteed rates of return for you. Those are good places to allocate your capital as well. All right. So we did just a tip of the iceberg there, but some uh, just some thoughts now we need to think about as we deal with this. It's uh, a topsy-turvy time right Can now. Can be, yeah. Marshall, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.